So there's some very ingrained traditions in cycling, aren't there, when it comes to training and what you should and you shouldn't do. But in terms of swimming, which previously perhaps has been a bit of a no-no, there's a bit of a ripple through the peloton, isn't there, about what you're doing and what you're achieving and how you're getting there and that swimming is playing a part of it. I think that um, the way that cycling's evolving now, it's got a lot more um, science background to it. It's not just tradition. You know, certainly there were people that questioned me on whether I really did swim, but now in the peloton, there's guys coming up to me who are also getting you know, better results than what they have been in the past season saying, I've been swimming and you are actually correct. Like it does really help. And when I'm swimming well, I'm also riding well. Tell me why I should swim, Richie. Like, you know, okay, it's worked for you, but you know, what would be the sort of main reason? What would you say to someone? You know, why should they go and swim? Why should they try it out? The beauty of swimming is that you don't have to do a lot. I mean, you could do a half an hour session and uh, a couple of times a week and and we're not going to sit here and pretend that it's easy because it's not. Just keep at it. You quickly see the benefits of so the it's, swimming. So it's not easy, but the benefits make it worthwhile? A hundred percent. If you're willing to put the hard yards in in the swimming pool, there's massive benefits. You know, it's a, it's a fantastic tool to use to, you know, work on your endurance and such a complete body workout that um, I think when I'm swim fit, definitely works on the bike also. So Richie, in terms of recovery, you've obviously used swimming a lot. Um, some athletes I think would choose perhaps to go out for an easy two hour spin on the bike, but you really advocate swimming for recovery. Yeah, I mean, certainly. I think for me this year, especially where the Tour de France was the biggest goal and you know, I'm not doing as much racing as I have done in previous years, but um, I've got a, a coach who is also from a swimming background and he says that you know like this week for instance after Paris Nice um, one of the things that I'm, I'm to do is to go and get in the pool you know and, and not do so much on the bikes. I just think that mentally just do something different and, and I think swimming's it's time effective as well you know the, the feeling of once you've done a great session in the pool and, and you get out you just feel on top of the world. The 1K WET programs have been devised to make it easy for you. It's not always that straightforward, but we've broken the programs down to a beginner, intermediate and advanced levels. And all the training programs are broken down individually to warm up, main set and a cool down. So hopefully you will see the benefits and actually really enjoy swimming and also see the improvements to your cycling.